Diana, thank you, and thank you for the invitation to uh, to be part of this discussion today. Um, I'd like to focus on. I mean, we all reflect, I think, a lot on just how unsettling all of these uh, the times are that we're living. I want to focus on the other side of that coin, which I think has been implicit in some of the comments already made, and that is, um, you know, the positive side of all of the disruption that we're living is, I think, um, both the demand, uh, that these times demand both creativity and they encourage creativity. And I think creativity is what we're going to need uh, going forward. The demand for it, obviously, given the severity of the issues being faced, but also they encourage them for, you know, I think an important reason, which is really, I think, for the first time in living memory, um, so many of the standard operating procedures um, that are so often a straitjacket and a constraint on creativity are essentially gone. The fact that we're having this conversation in this manner today is evidence of that. The fact that most offices are empty, but work continues. I mean, I could go on. There are lots of things that indicate how our world, our constrained world of standard operating procedures is basically out the window. And that's a rare moment. Uh, and it's a moment not to be missed. Uh, and in my view, collectively, I think this is true actually on a multilateral basis across the world, but it's certainly true uh, as Canadians that we need to seize this moment. We can't waste this moment. Uh, and we need to seize this moment to be creative about how we reposition the national economy for a world that's going to be different. And yes, a very important part of that is repositioning our, our economy to be a lower carbon economy, a significantly lower one, but to put the country on a different path going forward. And that's important because I think the fundamental, a fundamental issue facing all of us now is rebuilding confidence. Um, on the part of businesses, consumers, citizens across the board. Uh, and I think that issue about the need for creativity, this is true across a whole range of issues and Minister Baines touched on some of these, but it's true in terms of, of what we're doing in trade, what we're doing in innovation policy, our thinking about cities, the future of income security. And yes, obviously given my role at the infrastructure bank, it's very true about it. And at the bank, uh, which, you know, and I'll be quite open with people about this, it's an institution I think with lots of potential, but has it underperformed to date? Yes, I think it has. So that turnaround that we're trying to do at the bank is guided by or based on two pretty simple ideas. First, yes, the bank can and should play a role in reigniting the Canadian economy, but that has to be done in a constructive way. It has to be constructive stimulus. Um, so what does that mean? Well, it means contributing to the repositioning of the national economy. A critical dimension of that is taking actions uh, to accelerate the transition that Canada and the world has to go through to get to lower carbon industries and a lower carbon economy. Uh, that's point number one, and it's fundamental. Second point. To come back to what I said earlier, we need to be creative. We need to be creative about broadening what we need by infrastructure. It's not just about roads and ports. It's not about the past, it's about the future. Um, uh, critically important, and that of course is this transition to a lower carbon economy. But second, we also need to be more creative about how we invest, about how we work with private capital, how we bring private capital and harness it into this, this very important transition uh, that the world and uh, that Canada certainly has to go through. I won't take more time, uh, Diana, right now. I'll just say that, you know, in terms of our high level priorities, and I'd be happy to elaborate on these, but, you know, we're very interested in different power systems and improving the east west functioning of the electricity grid in Canada's renewable storage. We're very interested in uh, getting to a lower carbon intensity form of transportation both in cities and between cities. Very important, uh, very heavy focus now, I think, on cities. Um, they're critical as drivers of economic growth, but they have to work. They have to work from an environmental point of view. So again, we're very interested in thinking about cities as a platform for lower carbon growth. And then finally, digitization, having to do with both connectivity, uh, when if this crisis has shown us anything, it's that connectivity 
to, to high broadband uh, capability that's essential for households and for small and medium businesses. But more than that, and in the future, it's about digital platforms, digital health platforms, 5G, privacy platforms. Uh, all of these things uh, fit into what I think needs to be the broader and more creative mandate of the bank as it plays a broader role in repositioning our economy and encouraging the transition to a, to a lower and therefore a more sustainable uh, uh, carbon intensity.